Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra, Dusty the Desert Combat Specialist. Now, of course, Dusty is from Wave 2 of Pursuit of Cobra, and he looks great here in packaging. Um, as you can see, he actually comes with an alternate head with kind of a... I guess it's sort of a mask to protect him from the sand on, like what he's got on in the picture up here. He also has two guns here in packaging, what looks to be a coil of barbed wire, and his base. So, um, seems to be a little lacking in accessories, honestly, um, compared to figures like Rakondo, who came with just so much stuff. Although it is really cool we get an alternate head instead of just a mask. So, onto the back of the packaging here. Obviously, he's from the desert environment. And as Falkart says, Dusty is a, de is a desert combat specialist on the G.I. Joe team. He knows how to fight effectively in deserts where there is no water, extreme daylight heat, freezing desert nights, and harsh sandstorms. He's adapted his machine gun for desert use and can expertly capture the enemy with a well-placed barbed wire trap. So, I guess I was right about the barbed wire down there. That being said, despite lacking a few accessories, this guy still looks fantastic. Let's pull this bad boy out of packaging. And here we have Dusty out of packaging. Now, um, his barbed wire coil actually surprised me. I thought it was going to be one solid piece of plastic, but it's kind of got this elasticness to it where you can stretch it out like he's laying it across a road, I guess. It's actually pretty neat. Um, a little bit better accessory than I thought it'd be. So, but um, that being said, that's really all it does. Great for a display, I suppose, though. Putting that off to the side. Let's actually get a zoom in of his current helmet. So you can see there, it's got the goggles on the top, which you can slide down. He's got one of his guns in his hand. Really great job of detail on this guy. We'll be getting a better look at that in just a second. Um, to swap the heads out, really simple. Well, of course that helmet obviously does pop off. Got his head. Um, this one obviously, the mask is sculpted on, much like the Firefly in Wave 1. So popping that back on. I like that look a little bit better to be honest. But um, We'll be putting Dusty in his other head off to the side here. Of course, I really like how they gave him this real cloth, um, almost a cape. I don't know what exactly the technical term would be for this in the desert, but a great looking figure. Let's actually zoom in on this new head sculpt. You can see he's got the goggles pulled down over his eyes. Well, I lost a little bit of focus there. He's got the goggles over his eyes. You can see him through the mask. Just a great look. Of course, panning back out. Um, he does only come with two guns, which was a little surprising to me. Of course, he's got this one and this one. Of course, I'm, that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, just to come with two guns, and even though he does come with an alternate head and barbed wire, it's not a bad amount of accessories by any means. I think I've just gotten spoiled by the other Pursuit of Cobra figures and expected a little bit more. Um, not that he disappoints by any means. So, that being said, let's actually go into his articulation. His arms do a full 360. Watch the cape when you come back. Go out, spin, bend at the elbow as well as spin. Turn at the hand, spin at the head. Um, when you pull the head off, you can remove this kind of neckerchief thing he's got going on, and that'll allow for up and down, which is currently hindered. Um, does a full 360 at the abdomen, as well as some very slight up and down, kind of hindered by his pouches. Um, now his legs just seem like mine came a tiny bit loose. As you saw earlier when I pressed down on him, he almost tried to take a bow on me. Um, not terrible though by any means, he definitely still stands just fine. Of course, let's go back, forward, out, double jointed at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So, great articulation in those. Bent back, of course, the standard G.I. Joe base is dusty. Um, once again, Pursuit of Cobra Wave 2 is pretty well out there by now at the time I'm making this review. So, once again, I do believe that um, the whole me harping on about the lack of accessories with Dusty is just me being spoiled by the Pursuit of Cobra line, which has been absolutely fantastic. So, um, I'm not going to count that against the figure. Um, an amazing looking job on him. I mean, he looks fantastic. His um, real cloth cape, or whatever the technical name for this is. I don't know exactly what it would be. Would be. It looks like a cape to me. Um, definitely adds a level of realism to the figure. All his pouches are detailed. The fact that he's got an alternate head and another helmet really adds something to this figure. So that being said, oh, and one, even 
which had fallen off to the side here. Even the barbed wire, which I thought would be just kind of a lame accessory, really will work great for um, dioramas. So, Dusty, once again, is another solid pickup from the Pursuit of Cobra line. I love him, and this is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.